everybody. Welcome to uh, my Origami of the Day calendar video for Thursday, August 20th, 2009. Uh, today's model is called Bullfrog Brothers, and it's called Brothers because basically you can get two of these models out of one piece of origami paper. Now, what it calls for is well, in the direct directions, it says you're trimming your pieces to um, approximately 3 by 5 inches in size. And that would be accurate if these uh, origami sheets of paper were actually 6 by 6. <laughs> but they're not. They're actually a little less than 6 inches, at least mine are. Um, so you're really not getting 3-inch uh, uh, sections when you cut it in half. Uh, I, when I did this myself, I measured out the first one, cut it to three by five, so then my second one uh, was not the same size. It was smaller. So in my case, I'm making fraternal bullfrog brothers. They're not twins, but they're close. Um, so this is what I would recommend that you do. If you're using a traditional piece of origami paper, measure it and cut off um, a strip so that what you have left is five inches in length. And then um, after you've cut that bit off, so that you have something that's uh, five inches in length here, cut these pieces, this piece in half, so that you end up with two matching pieces that will be not quite three inches across, um, but they will be five inches long. So uh, and that's actually what it shows in the directions, but then the dimensions that they give aren't, aren't really accurate. So you're first going to take your piece of origami paper, cut enough off of it so that it measures five inches in length, um, and then cut that piece in half. And then you're going to use that half of a piece to create the model and then you'll have two of them matching pieces so you can create two of these models if you want. So here I have my piece which is five inches in length and approximately a little less than three inches in width. And from this point it's really very quick and easy to do this model. First you fold your piece in half like this. And then you take the one corner and fold it over and down to the bottom. When you do that, because this is not a perfect square, you'll have a little bit of a, um, of a flat edge at the top, like so. You're, make a good size crease on this because you're going to open it back up and reverse that fold to the inside. like this. Now next what you're going to do is to take this bottom point and fold it over <laughs> here comes shadow, fold it over and you want this to you want this to cross uh, just below the center section. So you've got from here halfway point there <laughs> halfway point here and just below that is where you're going to have this cross. Oh my goodness! And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay? <laughs> you realize that you're really in the way, right? You realize that this is like uh, not working too well, huh? So then, once you've got this here, the two flaps on either side are folded backwards just under the halfway point. The last couple of things you do to create this will be to fold this flap, and see there's a bit of a pocket here. There's a little bit of a pocket right there. So you're going to take this flap and tuck it into that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 
Oh, Shadow. Okay, so once you have uh, these two uh, flaps folded, folded back, and they're going to cross just below the halfway point here, uh, there's a little bit of a, of a pocket now under there. And what you're going to do is take this flap and uh, fold it around and up and tuck it in to that pocket. And then flip it around and do the same thing with this flap on this side. Open up the little pocket there and then just fold this in and upside, upside, up inside. And then finally, then there'll be one last little bit sticking out here. Fold that back and forth to create a crease. And then you can just fold that back and inside. So here it is sticking down and just fold it back. See how that and inside. Like so. And what you're left with is your bullfrog. Like this. And then you could make another one with the other side, the other piece of paper. And then you would have twin bullfrogs. special one, wasn't it, with Shadow? Um, uh, so that's our model for today. Hopefully you could figure out through the cat fur what I was doing. Um, tomorrow we're doing a flower bud. Flower bud. So uh, that will end up our week with a nice little flower for the weekend. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy what's left of your Thursday, and I'll see you back here soon. Have a good one. Bye.